Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing the one thing you need to know to get the committed relationship you want from a man. This is so important to understand. I know I hear from so many women who don't really have a problem attracting men, but the men they want never tend to stick around and take the relationship to the next level. They just kind of fade out after a while. Or a lot of women are in the situation where they've been with a man for a while and he seems to be stalling and not moving that relationship forward towards a real commitment or towards a lifelong commitment if that's what she wants. So hopefully this video will help you out if you're in one of those situations. But before I get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos on how to attract the man and the relationship you want. So I'm just going to jump right in today. The one thing you need to know to get the commitment you want from a man is men follow their instincts. Men follow their instincts. This is so important. I actually created a whole program called The Art of Getting the Commitment You Want, and it's seven steps to get the lifelong committed relationship you've always dreamed of. And this is step five for those of you following along in that program. The fact that men follow their instincts. Most men don't analyze the relationship and talk about it endlessly with their friends and family the way we women tend to do. It either feels good to them or it doesn't. And a lot of times they can't put their finger on why they might commit to one woman and just want a casual relationship with another woman. It just, it feels good to them and they're moving the relationship forward towards commitment or they're not. And the only thing you can really do under those circumstances is shift your vibe. You have to shift the entire relationship dynamic, the entire energy exchange between the two of you. If you're just trying to get a man to commit to you or get him to do what you want right now, this one time, it will never last. You know, he might you know, say, okay, I'll be your boyfriend or something like that. But if you don't heal the entire relationship dynamic and get this energy exchange functioning the way it's supposed to, it will never last. So it's really, really important. And a lot of this has to do with masculine and feminine energy. And if you're familiar with my work at all, I talk a lot about masculine and feminine energy. But in case you're not familiar with these concepts, masculine energy is the part of us that's about thinking and planning and doing things and making decisions, figuring things out. Feminine energy is the part of us that's about feeling, receiving, being in the moment, experiencing, expressing ourselves and responding. So when you're trying to make something happen in your relationship or get a man to do what you want, you're in your masculine energy. When you're leaning back and just experiencing the moment, expressing yourself and responding to a man, you're in your feminine energy. So if you're in a place where a man is stalling or he says he's confused and doesn't know what he wants or isn't sure he can give you what you want, you want to stop doing all of these things that are pushing him further away. Now this could look like initiating conversations about the relationship. Now of course it's fine to talk about the relationship sometimes, but in those moments when you feel a man pulling away or when he's stalling and you're just trying to get him to do what you want right now, I would lean way back, get into your feminine energy and stop doing some of these things like talking about the relationship, reminding a man of all the things he did at the beginning of the relationship. I know I'm definitely guilty of that one in my past. Most women can relate to that. You know, trying to get him to step up in some way by giving and doing things for him and over functioning. All these things just push a man further away. I would really encourage you to lean back into your feminine energy, get in touch with what you really want and sort of tend to your own energy first rather than acting out of this place of lack or misalignment or just trying to get something from a man right now that he's not freely giving to you. So you wanna make sure the energy dynamic is functioning the way it's supposed to, where you're leaning back into your feminine energy he is coming towards you in his masculine energy and moving the relationship forward all on his own. If that's not happening right now, this entire relationship dynamic needs to be 
reversed in a lot of cases, or at least healed, or it's something to take a look at. It's really, really important. So that's what I wanted to share for today. The one thing that you need to know to get that commitment you want from a man is men follow their instincts. It's just this gut feeling of, is this the woman for me? Is this the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with or not? And if it's not, what you need to do is shift the entire relationship dynamic rather than leaning forward and asking him a million questions and trying to get him to do what you want in this one moment. So important. I wrote a whole article on this. I'll post a link to that in the description of this video and I'll post a link to the art of getting the commitment you want if you're interested in all seven steps to really getting that lifelong committed relationship you've always desired. And of course, if you're looking to attract the man you want and inspire his love and commitment, check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. It's free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll post a link to that as well. So everything will be in the description right below this video. I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you next time.